here we are going to learn how to debug a Java application. Okay, so for that I have created a sample application here with a simple data bin with two data, one data operations to perform operations on our bin and one starting point. Okay, so with main class. So for a debugging application, we need to first set the breakup points. Okay, so here I have put some uh, breakpoints that you can do by just double click on the particular line left hand side okay now let's start this application debugging once you will move to debugging debugger java application first thing it will do it will ask you to change the perspective in others also you can do but it's better to change the perspective of java application debugging so here this is the application debugging mode if you will see this is your current uh, breakpoint stack trace these are the variables in your current environment and here is the list of your breakpoints you set okay so you can see right i have put on breakpoint in line number seven and another one in line number 11 so it's on line number seven line 11 and starter okay now uh here is your outline of the application and here console to show your all console logs now let's start debugging so three buttons will be main while debugging the app5 is go inside some method and debug that app 6 to debug line by line and f8 from one breakpoint to another breakpoint you can switch okay. so let me first use app 6 to go to the next line now see here we have data object got created right so now again f6 yeah. now we got message printed on console right and now if you'll see there is one data operation object and there is args that comes these two objects are in our environment okay now let me i want to debug this method so just let me press f5 to go inside this method i'm in we have pass values as 15 and y as in f world now f6 we got another variable in our environment and that is data now f6 so if you'll see here x is set because this line got executed so x value is set to 15 and y value is null because y we have not yet set so f6 now y is also set to the new value okay so here if i am getting some wrong output and i want to keep my debugging on to check the further application working fine or not what i can do like i'll go to this variable and i change the value to some other value and just press enter now if you will see your data bin just hover in your bin and you can see the current value so it's now updated to 45 right so f6 now this line is got executed and f6 i'll press okay so here we have those values in our variables window okay now here i am at line number 10 okay I have I sorry, don't delete. Okay, so I will do uh, at the place of doing. I want to go to eleven. I can press F8 also. It will directly move to the next uh, line. Okay, here what we'll do like see we have x is equal to forty five. I which we are passing to this method. So before doing this. If I want to test that what will be the output of this method is what I can do is like I can just right click on this select that right click and then we have one option to inspect okay the method is under the type starter okay so I need to select this whole with object okay so this whole I'll select and right click and inspect okay so See, there is no return type but whatever is in the method it got printed method got executed and it, it got printed so suppose this method is returning something what you can do like you can just uh, check it that if it's working fine or not okay like uh, what i'll do like this method i want before executing if i want to know that what will be the returning of this real method i just right click and inspect i'll see that it will be returning 15 and in f4 right so that way i can check before executing the method itself now here 
it got printed if I it's one time it's printed and when I'll press it more more one more time because now I'm going to execute it so F6 it's one again executed F6 and F8 okay application got completed terminated message shows that okay your application uh, debugging got completed this is the way to debug a simple application in Java we in future videos we'll see how to debug uh, remote uh, applications too thank you